Right, I've just got a new gas forge that I'd like to show you today to replace my homemade forge. Um, this one's made by Viva and the reason I got this one is that it's a twin burner and the whole unit is made of stainless steel. And I never actually knew that there was stainless steel forges online until I went on the Viva site. And when I got it through the post, it uh, totally exceeded my expectations of quality. And the thing that I really like about it, apart from it being solid stainless steel, is that it came with the uh, um, fire blanket or the ceramic wool already installed in the forge. So it came well packaged like I showed and it comes with two nice stainless steel burners with adjustable control on here. It comes with the gas hose and regulator and this one's for the UK market obviously for the UK propane cylinders. And then the top of the um, burners there with the controls on there. That's all stainless steel as well. It comes with one and a half fire bricks. These are inside it when you get it. And you put those in when you put the um, refractory cement on. And that's what you get. You get a bag of refractory um, cement and a brush to put it on and it also comes with a excellent operator's manual with very good color pictures throughout and the instructions obviously and it's all dead easy to put together the first thing you need to do is um, put the hose onto the um, top burner part, the valve at the top and this one doesn't actually turn on here so you've got to put the part on there like that first and nip that up with a spanner so you have a tap for each burner, so you can just operate it on one burner if you want to, which is great for saving gas. So like I said, the burners are a nice heavy unit in themselves and nicely equally spaced holes around the top here with an, uh, with an adjuster so that you can shut some of those off to regulate it basically and it looks like that in the end with the holes and these simply drop into the top of the forge and I have the um, thumb screws on the front here and this is what the burner valve assembly looks like. These are made of brass, these taps here. And this one simply pushes into the top of the unit. And then you lock that up with the um, thumb screws on the front there. So it's all locked in now and basically um, ready to go. Although I haven't put the refractory cement in yet, so I shall do that before I actually fire it up. So that's what it looks like at the top. You have your regulators here to regulate the airflow into the burner. And then you have the on-off valves. And this is the lower part of the forge. What I like about it is the carrying handle, good solid stainless steel again, stainless steel stands, and I like the way the company have put their nameplate on the front there. They're obviously proud of their workmanship. And I can't find a seam anywhere on this um, stainless steel, so it's made out of one piece. 
and the only rivets there are are eight at the top here four on each side to hold the burner adapter in and this is what the end looks like and they call this shape a unique panda shape design and that design gives you a nice large working space and just before I go out and put the refractory cement in, I'd just like to say it's really worth going on the Viva site and having a look at this forge. I'll put a link below. You can see all the specifications on there and some excellent pictures, diagrams and information about this forge. The forge can reach a temperature of 2600 Fahrenheit within 10 minutes and it has excellent insulation properties. And you can begin forging after three minutes of preheating. And what I was really surprised about is how low cost this unit is. So now I'm going out to put the refractory cement in and then when that's dry I shall fire it up.
So that's the parts there that I put into the forge and then dipped in oil and I've given them a rust protective finish now doing that. And I'm really pleased with the forge. It's excellent quality being stainless steel. Uh, it has the two burners. I only used one then when um, doing that work. And that was completely adequate and quick but you have the versatility of using the two burners if you want to. Plus the forge has excellent insulation properties like I showed there. It's really worth going on the um, Viva site and having a look at this one. I'll put a link below and you'll be surprised at how low cost it is.